What's going on everybody? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy T. McNeil and this is indeed the DC Show. So if this is your first time here, do me a favor, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate that to all of my non-subscribers out there if you guys are looking for the latest information and sneaker news, reviews, typical updates, and the newly acquired sneaker bargains. We're talking about copper sneakers out here for $100 or less. Trust me, y'all, that's a great segment. This is the place to be. And as I always say to all of my subscribers out there, I thank you guys for tuning in every single day watching all my content. All your comments, support, feedback has definitely been appreciated. And uh, we're going to keep this thing moving. All right. So what I got for y'all today is another sneaker news portion of the channel. And I want to talk to you guys about another iteration of the Air Jordan 13 that's going to be dropping at the end of the year. We're talking about December of 2020. All right. So these are the Black Hyper Royals. That's the name of this particular sneaker. I want to get you guys thoughts and opinions on that. It's another Edge on 13, once again, coming down the pipeline. Uh, 90% of the shoe is blacked out, but you do have that Hyper Royal suede um, on the back panel of the shoe and part of the midsole as well. So let me know what you guys think about that, all right? So we're talking about the Edge on 13, a very iconic, very comfortable shoe. Trust me guys, I know because I own several pair and it's my absolute favorite Jordan, period. Okay guys, I love the 12s, I love the 5s, I love the 6s, okay? I do love the 4s, not a really a big fan of the 3s. I like the 9s as well and my absolute favorite besides the 12s and 13s would be the Air Jordan 1s. All right, but we ain't talking about none of them today. We talking about the 13. Now, what I like about the 13, guys, not just the overall style, but again, it's a very comfortable sneaker, okay? It's not one of these sneakers that is really, like, narrowly cut, okay, guys? It's pretty, I won't say a wide shoe, but it's kind of in between. So, it's gonna fit most people's feet to a T. Okay, guys, now sometimes some of these shoes are true to fit and some of them are not true to fit. The Edge on 13 could be either way. It just depends on what size that you get. But me, personally wearing a size 12, you know, it's, it's definitely more of a true to fit feel. It's got a little bit of a snugness to it, but it's not overly tight to the point where I'm like, man, these are uncomfortable and I gotta take them off my feet. Okay, so this is the reason why I love the 13s. And uh, you guys let me know how you feel about the 13s, all right? But as far as that particular sneaker news portion of the channel, guys, they're going to be dropping on December the 19th. So make sure that you guys mark your calendars for that. And the retail price will be 190 US dollars. Nothing surprising there. That's a typical rate for a 13 anyway. And a typical going rate for a 12 as well. All right, y'all. So without further ado, man, let's take a, another close hand look at the sneaker. Uh, we do have quite a few images to show you guys. And, uh, I'll be right back with you. I'm officially back, man. So let me know down below how y'all feel about this particular Air Jordan 13. Um, it's definitely going to be one of my top sneakers for this year that's going to be on the radar. Aside from the fact also that the University Gold 12s is going to be dropping probably about a week from today. And on top of that, I'm looking forward to the brand new Air Jordan 11s that's going to be dropping in December as well. Okay, we don't have an official uh, street nickname for those yet. But you guys know if you've been following the channel for a while, I've already made it, some content about that. So yes, it is what it is. But these 13s have everything uh, that's iconic. It's got the 23 holographic bubble on there. It's got that tumble black leather on there. It's got that hyper blue, or I just call it hyper blue. But yeah, black hyper royal suede or royal blue suede, whatever you want to call it, same thing. And on top of that, guys, you do have the um, mesh side panels on there with the 3M reflective material inwoven and engraved into that sneaker. Okay guys, just like the Air Jordan 13 Black Cats, 
and just like a lot of the other 13s as well. Okay, guys. So give me you guys thoughts and opinions on that. I'm kind of glad that the side panels come in the cloth as opposed to the suede. But let me know what you guys think about that. But like I said, that 3M material, that kind of giving that reflective hint, especially when the light hits it a certain way, I'm definitely feeling that. All right, y'all. So in any comments and questions, man, leave it down below. Brother, we'll definitely get back to you. If you have not done so already, man, like I said, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And last but not least, do not forget to tap the bell symbol. That way you're in the loop. As soon as I put up new content for the channel, you guys be in on it. And then that way you won't miss nothing. All right? So I appreciate you guys watching and listening and tuning in. Until the next time, make sure that you guys have a good one. And as I always say, you stay safe. Peace.